Hi class, in lesson 16.1 you will be analyzing data using measures of center. Learning targets for today, you will review the meaning of mean, median, and mode and calculate and interpret the mean, the median, and the mode for a set of data. Key terms to look for today, measures of center, mode, median, balance point, and mean. Please turn to page 1070, problem 1, put me in coach. When you analyze a set of data, you often want to describe it numerically. One way to numerically describe a data set is to use a measure of center. A measure of center tells you how the data values are clustered or where the center of a graph of the data is located. There are three ways to describe how a data set is centered, the mean, the median, and the mode. The mode is the data value or values that occur most frequently in a data set. Sometimes the question is asked, can a data set have more than one mode? And that answer is yes. If two data values occur the same number of times in the data set, and it happens to be that each data value occurs the greatest number of times, then the data set can have more than one mode. The median is the middle number in a data set when the values are placed in order from least to greatest. When a data set has an odd number of data values in the set, you can determine which number is exactly in the middle of the data set. If there is an even number of data values, when the median is calculated by adding the two middle numbers and dividing by two. For number one, the Olive Street Middle School girls basketball team has a chance to be champions. Coach Harris must determine which of the following three players should get more playing time in the championship game. In the past six games, Josephine scored 12, 12, 6, 26, 4, and 12 points. In the past six games, Shelley scored 3, 2, 8, 17, 10, and 20 points. In the past six games, Shanice scored 15, 12, 13, 10, 8, and 14 points. Please answer letters A and B with your group members. For letter A, the mode for Josephine is 12 points, and there is no mode for Shelley or Shanice. For letter B, the median for Josephine is 12. For Shelley, the median is 9. And for Shanice, the median is 12 and a half. Please turn to page 1071 and answer letter C with your group members. For letter C, the median would be a better measure of center to use. If we used the mode, Shanice would be eliminated from the conversation, but she actually does have the greatest median. Please answer number two with your group members. For number two, we are going to disagree with Lamar. Lamar forgot to put the numbers in numerical order before calculating the median. When you put the numbers in numerical order, the median is six. Previously, you learned about two measures of center, the median and the mode. There is a third measure of center that can describe the values in a data set. This measure of center is based upon establishing a balance point. Analyze the two stacks of cubes. If you were to create two equal stacks of cubes, you would subtract two cubes from the greater stack and add the two cubes to the lesser stack. In doing so, you have created two stacks of equivalent amounts. Please turn to page 1072, answer number 3, letter A, and letter B with your group members. For number 3, letter A, to create four equivalent stacks of cubes, you have to subtract two cubes from the stack of six cubes and add them to the first stack. Then you have to subtract one cube from the stack of five cubes and add it to the second stack. This will result in all stacks having four cubes. 
And for letter B, to create four equivalent stacks of cubes, you need to subtract three cubes from the stack of ten cubes and add them to the first stack. Then you have to subtract two cubes from the remaining seven cubes in the last stack and add those cubes to the second stack. This will result in all stacks having five cubes. When you have all the stacks at the same value after moving cubes in a balanced manner, the stacks are balanced. The value where the stacks are balanced is called the balance point. Please turn to page 1078. The balance point can also be called the mean. The mean is the arithmetic average of the numbers in a data set. The mean is calculated by adding all of the values in the data set and dividing the sum by the number of values. Determining the mean of the data set for the points Josephine scored is calculated first by adding all of her scores together and then dividing by 6. So the mean for Josephine's scores would be 12. Please turn to page 1079, answer number 4, letter A and letter B with your group members. For number 4, letter A, when you add up all of Shelley's scores and divide by 6, Shelley's mean is 10 points. For letter B, when you add up all of Shanice's score points and divide by 6, Shanice's mean is 12 points. This will conclude lesson 16.1 on understanding measures of center. Please let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.